when I was in graduate school, I worked with a wonderful scientist, Jack Shostak, and that's how I felt about him. I felt like the thing that he had so wonderfully, and he, it was hard to, it was kind of one of those je ne sais quoi, you know, hard to put your finger on it, sorts of traits, is that he had that quality, I felt. He, he, knew, he knew the right experiments to do. He knew the right questions to ask. He didn't know the answers, because that's why we do science, but he knew the right ones to ask. And I always thought to myself, gosh, if I could, if I could bottle that up somehow and you know figure out what that is. And um, I never imagined that people would see me that way, but I, I know I really consciously tried to understand that about the people that I've trained with, because I think I, I have benefited from mentors who were you know, able to do that very, very beautifully. I've always been driven by a fascination with evolution. You know, how, why, why is life the way it is now? You know, and of course, we're, we're seeing life on our planet at a snapshot in time. You know, it was different in the past and it'll be different in the future. And it's all strung together by DNA, right? It's the, the code of life is kind of, you know, evolving over time. And I've always been very, very interested in that process. So I feel like if there's a thread to my research over the years, it's always, that's kind of always underlying what we do is thinking about evolution and how it works.